So, I mean, yeah, you you'll definitely love it when you when you write it. Hagrid's, give us, Hagrid's looks sounds sounds fun. We ready Hagrid's. to do this, brother? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of East vs. West. We're filming back-to-back episodes today because we like the series that we're doing. We we actually had a, a lot more fun than we thought doing this, so we decided, hey, let's fuck it. Let's record another one because why not? I mean, it gives us East vs. West episodes to put out, and it keeps yep. us consistent with this podcast, and we're going to... We're going to beat Horn Nights Unscripted uh, for the most. So, <laughs> no, no disrespect to Horn Nights Unscripted. We love the boys, uh, Scott and Adrian, over at uh, SoCal Exploring and Launch TV. Go give them a follow and check out their podcast as well. Yeah, those guys are killing. The Booze Brothers. That goes for all the Booze Brothers. Zombie Chris, Connor Florida, uh, The Haunt Line. Am I missing anyone else? Uh, Sammy's with me. Sammy? Sammy's yeah. with me. Sammy don't have his channel. I think that's everybody. Zombie you. Chris. Me. Oh, uh, no, you said so, Kyle, already. Yeah, that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. Okay. All right. I would hate to, like, miss somebody. No, so that's if, why. If we did, it was completely accidental. Uh, I don't have an excuse for it. Shout out to the brothers <laughs> at the Blues Brothers. Go give them all a follow on their channels. It's, on the, it's going to be on my page. I have them all linked there, so go check them out. But today on uh, East versus West Coast Comparison, we are checking out Ghostbusters at HHN 2019. Uh, we're going to start off, of course, with the Orlando version, and Oops. then the... I had the Hollywood happened? one pulled up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to do the Orlando version first, and then we're going to do the Hollywood. But before we go any further, be sure to check out our merch website. It's on teespring.com. Links in the description below. We have East vs. Wedge merch that you can actually purchase now. And I actually just lowered prices on stuff, so... There's actually a lot. Of, there's gonna be a big discount going on. I think shirts used to be twenty dollars. Now they're only fifteen dollars, which is even better. Nice. Um, so <laughs> prices just got lowered on the uh, on the shop. So go check it out. Uh, and of course, support East versus West. Support Knights of Horror. Uh, we really appreciate that, and we uh, we try our best to deliver the best content we can. Of course, go support Eddie Tainment on his channel, uh, Eddie Tainment. Uh, and he's got a merch website as well. Go check out his merch website because I highly suggest it. I'm gonna go buy some merch at the end of the month when I get paid because hey. I need to get me an entertainment T-shirt. I need to get all the Booze Brothers. They all pretty much have sites now, and I gotta go buy some stuff from everybody uh, so I can have some support. Yeah, we gotta we gotta come out with a a shirt for everybody. Right. I'm I'm working on a Booze Brothers shirt. It may be exclusively for us, but if you guys like the design, then I'll talk with everyone. Maybe we'll have it on all of our merch websites. So. What if we could cartoon all of ourselves and you know like that one uh, Halloween Horror Nights picture that you see with all the all the like icons? That yeah. Are cartoon style. That'd be that cool. Would be dope. That'd that be would dope. be dope. That would be dope. But now is the time that we're gonna watch Ghostbusters. At Universal Orlando. So, uh, Theme Park HG, big shout out to him. We're using his uh, footage for these videos um, because my quality video is not that good. Um, I, I try to put out the best quality. I'm trying to get better equipment so I can get really good maze walkthroughs for the next season. But Theme Park HD probably has some of the best walkthroughs and POVs on YouTube. Um, so, go check him out. Uh, go, go give him a subscribe. Go show him some love. Um, but we're going to watch Theme Park HD's version. We're going to start with the Orlando side, like I said, and then we're going to compare it at the end um, on both ends. So, Eddie, on the count of three, we'll start this. Ready? Let's One, two, and three. Theme Park so, HD. So, Theme Park HD here, and uh, this is Ghostbusters, HHN 29. All right, so you guys started in a live version. That was interesting. Yeah. Oh, I bet I bet that guy standing there got annoyed by the theme song by the end of that season. Yeah, it'll be <laughs> interesting because in the library, the young lady that's there is at, in one of the one of the times that I went through was actually a friend of mine. Let's see. The library already looks detailed. Way yeah, yeah, right. no the the detail in this in this house was amazing. I really like the way it looked. That guy just looked like he was a dick standing against the wall. Yeah, he's terrifying. That's a terrifying one. Oh, that was a cool effect. You got yeah. ghosts and stuff, and then someone popped out, I'm assuming? Yep. That we didn't get to see? Yeah. I'm telling hey, you. Hey, so Orlando does know what black holes are. Okay. It's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the first time. Oh, look at that black ball. It's 
Look at those black walls. Ghostbusters, yeah. that's cool. You guys actually had like the doors and the. Yep. That was our. That was actually our facade. Here we go. But you're. Yeah. You're the detail. young lady sitting there. Let me see. She was a, a friend of mine. No, it's not her. Wait, Whoever is it? that is, she's a very beautiful person. Nah, I don't think that was my friend. I will say this: the people, the ladies who played that role in the movies, did a phenomenal. Yeah, you know this part was amazing. How they had like the lightning from the the like. Uh, oh, the the blaster. The blaster, yeah. That's what, Look, that's at that. Look at that! Look at that! For Invisible Man. Yeah, that that would have to be how they do the Invisible Man. Oh man, Limer. That right there. Look at that. Yeah. Your sex. Look at that. That is so freaking detailed. And their costumes were amazing too. Yeah. Very good. We'll we'll get there eventually, but Stay Puff was. A bit underwhelming. Uh, yeah. That was pretty cool. That'd be okay. sad if you can actually see the person. Okay, who brought the dog? Yeah, and there was there was a lot of like, and I'm sure you guys probably had it too. There was a lot of like a uh, like signature lines being quoted as you walked through. Yeah, a lot of lines, man. Well, that's. Oh man! Oh, black walls. No, that wasn't a black wall. This is dark. Black wall. This is all no. black. That's... That's not a black wall. It's just dark. That was a cool triple scare. We got here. I forget where oh, we're ghost at. Trap. I wonder what camera this guy's using. Yeah, this guy's got a very good camera, very good light, or whatever lens. Oh, that was cool. A stilt walker. That's cool. Yeah, the yeah his low light is not noisy at all. Yeah. Uh, see, you missed the scare there. Let's see if they replay it. Low light Come though. Come on. Nope. He nope. He's trying. Pressing. He's trying to get it. But nope. It. All right. Oh, oh creepy. Cool. Oh, he got it. There he goes. He got it. <laughs> he was trying so hard. He got it. Got it. I sometimes feel too. Is this Stay Puff? No, oh, we yeah. didn't have that scene. Yeah. That's a little disappointing. I would have liked to see that scene. Especially with him, dude. He's hilarious. That guy looks just like the actual actor, too. That's kind of scary spot on. Oh, fuck Ooh. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I would have fell to oh, the floor. He thought that, that perfect. I would have fell to the floor, I dude. I would have broke. Oh, here's Stay Puff. Those things jump out at you, man. That's scary. Yeah, the, the puppets at Halloween Horror Nights are pretty dope most of the time. I wish we would have had this scene, too, because this is a pretty crucial scene in the movie, which leads into Stay Puff. There's your Stay Puff. Yeah. This was... There were so many other rumors were that he was going to be huge, and this was kind of lame. And when I came by, he wasn't even like really like doing much. It was just like his eyes moving right to left. It looks like they had a aftermath though. We didn't have an aftermath. Hey, Slimer. That is Ghostbusters in Orlando. Um not bad. There's a couple of scenes actually I would have loved to have seen in the Hollywood one at least. Um that really lead into you know more of the, the movie and stuff, which was really cool. But yeah, I know, I know, I, I can see what you're saying about Stay Puff, though. That I think when I saw your guys' Stay Puff, I was like, oh man, that's kind of a disappointment. Like, yeah, but the house in general, that was the only thing that really disappointed me. Aside from that, I thought it was an amazing house. Very, yeah, it had some some decent scares and some stuff that was really impressive to look at. And a couple black walls. One black wall. Relax. You're gonna see a lot of black walls right now, actually. But <laughs> it managed to. Uh, there's one scene I can't wait to show you that actually do a great job executing a good effect uh, using the black walls. So that's really cool. All right. Let me pull it up. Hold on. Hold on. So yeah, that was cool. I, I think, like I said, Ghostbusters was a very big underdog maze this this last year, at least in Hollywood for me. Um, and I know we had just talked about this on on East versus West uh, 
two, uh, two or three weeks ago. Um, how, you know, with a visible man potentially or Billy Eilish being that underdog maze and how we were talking about Ghostbusters being that underdog maze. Um, it's very, uh, very interesting, but, uh, okay. Now we got Ghostbusters over here on the West coast in Hollywood for 2019. Um, this was the Twitter password, uh, maze. Sorry. I got a lot of burping coming out from that beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here we go. Uh, here we go. Ghostbusters, Hollywood, Hollywood Horror Nights, 2019 Universal Studios, Hollywood. And one, two, three. This was in the Metro sets located right next to the Frankenstein. I always hear you guys talking about the Metro sets, and I always like. What was I? Why did you call it the Metro sets? Yeah. It's supposed to be like a metropolitan area. Uh, That's why they call it the Metro sets. I gotta hit up Hollywood. That was the Twitter password, and actually, you got you got this. Uh, oh, nice. Password. Really cool. But it was funny because, like, at the last night we went, like, even if you didn't give him the password, he was just giving them out. He was trying to give them. <laughs> like, Sammy was talking. And there he is. Give them, there he is right there. That was a perfect example of it. Um, but Sammy was just, he just talked to him randomly. He just gave him the card. That's funny. But, dude, me and Sammy had so many great moments because this was actually the, uh, if you get early entry, this was, like, the only maze that was open. And me and Sammy had such great moments because we'd get there and there'd be, like, no one there. So we we pretty much had the like, place for ourselves. We've got not, a lot, not only a lot of the iconic shows, but it was just awesome. Like, a lot of the interaction. Oh, you guys open up right into this scene. Yeah, this is the first scene right here. And you have an extra actor. Yeah. It was cool. They had one Ghostbuster go out one door, and then the other would come in. Be, sometimes, you didn't get to show that on camera, but sometimes it'd be two different Ghostbusters coming in and out. Oh, that looks cool. Uh, the ghosts are breaking out. That was kind of the same machine that you guys had. The thing that's why I was hoping for the same effect. I didn't see it unless I didn't get a shot of it. Yeah, if they do thing. Invisible Man, they're taking a lot of the practical effects from this style. Yeah. What was that? That's one of the ghosts they showed in. Uh, that almost looks like Killer Clowns. <laughs> talking about black ghosts, this is a good scene to kind of utilize that. So they're supposed to be floating. It's supposed to be, supposed to be a, a torso. There's the rest of his body right there. And this guy's supposed to be a floating head. Well, that was a very cool effect. When I saw that, I was shocked at how awesome that was. But yeah, talk about black ball. This is what we have to do. <laughs> That's what you get for saying something. Well, look at, like I said, look at the like the Slimer effect. Looks cool. Oh, right that looked cool, yeah. It's like he's actually floating, you know what I mean? Yeah, that looks dope. Is that I mean, a black ball? If you do them right, can be executed well, but. Throw him in a maze for nothing. This was our live, very, very short scene. We had an actual scare actor, and then it would switch to that. You can see the mirror effect. Oh, hell no! Fun fact: <laughs> we were doing uh, uh, try not to be scared challenge. This was actually that was the scene where I got scared. Gotcha. That's Sedwick Hotel. Segway into the hotel. Went elevator scene that was uh this was Bill Mary's character, that was pretty cool. He had one of the best lines in there, uh, we came, we saw we kicked ass. So every time you come out I just look that picture. Awesome. <laughs> look, he he's Wait, trying to dude, catch you it. That yeah. shot. He wants it. There it is. Come on. That's this funny. was cool. Like I know how you're saying your scene. I like art. That's similar to how we kind of pulled ours off. Yours is actually like lights and floating. Yeah, ours was a little bit like more like off the wall. Yeah. Come on, Slimer. React. There we go. He actually sprays you with water, too. I don't remember your stay puff. Oh, our stay puff was pretty. <clears throat> Whoa. Slimer was like the staple at that maze. You saw him everywhere. Now we're going to Central Perk, the park. This is the uh, apartment building where the is getting uh, like harassed by the ghosts. All these transitions that they have from room to room are going to be interesting how they pull them off this year. 
Yeah. I'm like those drapes? Me. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, that was one of the things. No, you just hold up the line and shit. <laughs> What's that? That's the deep part Jason's just holding up the line and give a shit. You gotta respect the man though, man. He's just trying to get his shot. Yep. You know who did that a lot this year is is freaking Tim KLD. What he would stop and wait to get the shot? Because he, he would take pictures and like I respected it, but there would be a point where I was trying to just walk and I wouldn't be paying attention. It's like God damn it, Tim. All right, here's our stay fuck scene right now. Yeah, I can only imagine that some of this would. Oh yeah, yours is much better. I mean, the only thing that pissed me off was they they were all mannequins. Oh, that's Max lame. Actors, but I wish it would have been like actual, actual actors, or at least two actual actors. You know what I mean? And then all this is all black. Wow. The They're most ep the most epic black wall of them all. Yep. But that is our Ghostbusters uh, piece. Hollywood. At the end, you got the Ghostbusters theme song. Um, I would say the only down part about this, too, was um, if you went for early entry, it was still daylight outside, so a lot of the effects didn't look as good. So I would this was a maze that I would have suggested to do like when it hit nightfall. because Was it, was it in a tent? It was in a tent. It was out in the metro. Uh, so, you know, when it was daytime, the sun was still out and stuff. But when it hit nighttime, like the effects smashed. They, were like, they looked dope. Yeah, see, ours was a soundstage. Yeah, so you guys, no matter what time it was, like you guys can make that Yeah. Play. So the for for me the first thing I see is yours is is kind of like scene to scene, yeah. Right, and I think that's that's kind of the nature of Hollywood because of the the black walls. Yeah, they're they're the transition in between. Ours was really kind of like you you're just transitioning from from it, but seamlessly. Like there's there wasn't as much of a of a break in between mm -hmm. each area. Your Stay Puff a million times better. Our Stay Puff kind of underwhelming just ahead um, yeah and then i i kind of appreciated how you guys had that the effect of the of the of the blasters but the the one in orlando like how they actually bring it off of the wall yeah looked really impressive when you saw it in person yeah no it looked dope yeah i'll agree with that no i i yeah i really liked how uh, orlando's scenes transitioned and how detailed they were and you got to spend a little bit more extra time in each scene as far as like the library you got to spend a little bit more extra time in the library uh in the hotel and in the, the apartment and all that and then of course going into the um, ghostbusters headquarters it was a little bit bigger than ours um but it was really cool nonetheless um yeah i think my only issue with the orlando one of course is the stay puff but yeah other than that everything was executed they added more scenes than we did i mean they had the gatekeeper scene which was really cool which is a major part of that whole film um, so that was really cool to see. Um, and it's it's but, almost it's almost reverse of our first episode. Our first episode, yours had more time in each scene. Yeah. And mine had less. Yeah. And now, now it's, it's the opposite. Opposite. Yeah. Orlando has more more time in each scene, while yours is kind of a little bit more rushed. Right. No, I agree, a hundred percent. But uh, yeah, that is gonna do it for coast comparisons this week. Um, this week was Ghostbusters. Tune in next week. Um, I'm thinking we do Jordan Peele's Us. Hey, that was a good one. So tune in next week for Jordan Peele's Us uh, for Coast Comparisons. Um, of course, check out our merch shop. Uh, link's in the description below. Buy that East versus West merch. Go subscribe to Eddie Tamit. Check out his merch shop as well. Um, and, and you know, subscribe. Hit the like button. Check out his videos. Um, also, subscribe, comment, like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on social media. We have social medias. Um, so definitely hit us up on social media. And... Uh, yeah, and just don't forget to ask yourself, have, have you been edutained? Deuces. <laughs>